people, welcome to Jim and Jim will Jim will shave. Stumbling already, stuttering already, getting tongue tied. Okay, uh, Saturday, uh, currently in Coventry City Centre, in uh, not a very nice hotel, Coventry City Centre, right by the uh, the bus station. So uh, if you're familiar with Coventry, I'm sure you'll uh, know what hotel I'm in. It's right in front of the bombed out cathedral, and the new cathedral for that matter. So that's where I am. Okay. Now, to come away on this trip, I just grabbed any soap, any soap that I haven't used for a while. And the soap I grabbed, I know this isn't the time of year for it, but I've said it before, I don't do seasonal when it comes to soaps. It's a sense. And that is Declaration Grooming, Dog Fall. Declaration Grooming, Dog Fall. You can see that, yeah. And there's the pour, there's the soap, that's the colour. I have to say, not one of my favourite scents. It's okay, but. So one of my favourites, what's your smell over here, you ask? Well, we've got argwood, amber, benzoin, cinnamon, clove, and birch tar. And it's said to replicate uh, autumn fall in uh, Georgia, in, in the United States, and the burning of leaves. Uh, <laughs> I get more of a burning, uh, burning of car tyres. There is another soap that uh, like this that I haven't used for a while. Yeah, we get like a burning rubbery smell. Now I don't know if autumn fall in the states is any different than autumn fall in Europe, but I've never smelt an autumn fall that smells like this. But there we go. It's like a burny, outdoorsy, woodsy, spicy sort of scent. Brush for today. It matches, and this is purely by chance that the uh, brush handle matches the label. And that is the Aki 28mm Tuxedo. I can't remember the name of it. Just popping that into the tepid water. It's going to be a, a tepid water shave today. And got some, uh, some Craft Ale guys, Abertail Green King, 5% ABV. It's really nice. I think I've been snoring overnight, so uh, if I've been for sore throat, that's really, really helping. Right, rate of stay. The Adiora and Evans B1 Lancer. Made an appearance not so long ago, came on the market. I think I was quite early in ordering it. Now, see this brass collar here, you just press the button at the bottom, and the whole thing opens up like this. In there, We've got a wisdom at blade. We only second use because the last time we used this razor, this is the blade that was in it. The easiest way to open this, I find, is all that in the palm and hand, like so, forefinger and thumb at the top, and pull down. That's the way I find. So, that's the weapon of choice for today. Without further ado, let's get in. Yeah, I'm not going to cut short and. Uh, well, I'm just going to do it all. I'm just going to do it all. Shake the bush out a bit and in. I'm going to uh, load the brush in the book, take it to the bowl. I'm going to wet the brush, go back in. Gives it like a double loading or a treble loading because I'm going to do it again. I know some people do comment that uh, they don't see me loading the bush much or lowering much. I shall rectify that today. That's what's come out, out and over the bowl. That's what's on the brush. Take that off. And I'm going to put this excess into the uh, lava bowl. Sometimes you use this as a, like a pre-shave to soften the bristles. Sure, that all goes in there. Give that a rinse. Let's just chop off. And I'll leave that upside down overnight. There it goes. Right. Whoops. You're okay. I didn't hear you there, did I? Sorry about this. As you know, uh, everything's had dock here because of a travelling shaver. 
So we're going to dip this brush tips into the lukewarm water and I'm going to start working in the bowl straight away. Once larvaed, once wetted, soap smells a bit better. It's very claggy at the moment, very pasty. Claggy. Who understands that word claggy? Claggy. Very claggy. Sorry. Send strength. Six. Now it's great having a scent string for about six from you with an absolutely gorgeous scent. But this isn't an absolutely gorgeous scent. It's a unique scent. I'm not saying it's particularly horrible, it's just... Most people, it's not what they'd expect to find from a soap. But if you're a Declaration Grooming fan, you probably would. Because uh, a lot of Declaration Grooming scents are, uh, are quite dark. It's pretty unique. So if you are a Declaration Grooming fan or you do own some Declaration Grooming soaps, you've probably got an idea of what this smells like. What do you reckon? Does that smell like? Definitely get the burning tar there. Okay. Wet the chops. Yeah, so I'm... Uh, in the United Kingdom, for a change, not that I like working in the United Kingdom, I'd rather work over on the uh, mainland Europe. Simply because we get better hotels and uh, better, the, the work's just better over there and over there we have NAF hotels. And I've been to the Cotswolds today and yesterday. People in the UK, well, don't need to be in the UK because the uh, it's an Amazon program and diddly squat farm, yeah, diddly squat farm near Chipping Norton and the Cotswolds. It's a farm owned by uh, Jeremy Clarkson of Top Gear fame, amongst other things, and he wants to be a millionaire. Yeah, but he owns this uh, Diddly Squat farm. Called Diddly Squat because the profits Diddly Squat, it, it produces Diddly Squat. It's. Uh, I had to go there yesterday. And just like a shed in a field. And there are some people queuing up in this field just to visit this uh, farm shop. And. We were told that it'd take four and a half hours for the queue to actually reach inside the shop. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So I said to my people, I forgot what they sounded like this way. It, it does sound cheap and nasty. I remember, I remember the last time I used it saying that. Suitable razor for the beginner. But not too mild. Feels like medium aggression at the moment. I can't remember what I rated it as last time. Now you're probably thinking, well, you should have rated it the same as you're rating it now, surely. Well, it's, it's weird sometimes, no, it's, it, things can be totally different on another day, or with a different blade, or with a different soap. Well, I probably did rate well, this as medium mag. God, that's so, man. <laughs> listen to that. Oh, the little, uh, I want to stop myself with the uh, straight razor. 
That's a neat shape with the, uh, the melon. And uh, it didn't cut me, it just took the scab off. So the feather artist called clone is the idea. The damage wasn't that bad to the liver. It looked bad, it did pump a little bit of blood out, didn't it? One thing I don't need is uh, blood thinners. Because John June said, I bleed like a girl. <laughs> it, does, it does sound really, really cheap, this razor. I can't remember the cost. Ariana and Evans are like so it'd be too cheap. Right, that was uh, a nice first pass. So quite a bit of bristle left on the chops. Green King, have it. Cheers guys. Good weekend to you. So I hope this video gets uploaded and my using mobile data to upload. Wi-Fi in the old cell's not too good. Pardon me. Yeah, this particular hotel, I bring my own kettle, my own cup. And in a dining room, I've never uh, used the cups in a dining room. You want to see them? Yeah, God. You know, when you go into a garage or a workplace where it's, it's just male dominated, you'll see like tea mugs and all stained, completely stained and covered in rings. And really, that's what it's like. And this is a bloody hotel restaurant. And I see things like that, mate, and no, oh, no, 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 no. Can't go anywhere near it. It's real put off for me. It means I have to go to the pub to eat. Now, I've not sort of gotten used to the uh, scent now. What's another one? Is it Massacre of the Innocents? I think I've got. Where have you? Of this uh, soap brand. The skin's getting awfully craggy here with age, so I'm, uh, I'm having to start stretching it a bit as I'm using a straight razor. Otherwise, the blade will catch in the crag in the skin. Just on that side. So it's always something to uh, bear in mind. And then we get all the muscle memory. Bear in mind, your face is a changing all the time. When I got off work this morning, there was a, a Sid James carry on movie, I can't even know side I was on. But uh, it's looking at Sid James's craggy old face. I was thinking, he must have had a terrible, terrible time having a shave in the morning. Really, really craggy. But there must be a, a way of doing it easily enough for us. This 
strange little, this wisdom that feels like it's talking ever so slightly here, which is one of its second use. Now that, across the grain pass, that was really good. It's uh, very, very little stubble left. Number two, just a little cheat here, see how slick it is. Struggling to get BBS there. Yeah, but uh, slickness, slickness in abundance, residual slickness. But I wish I had done that because there's a funny tingling sensation on the neck now. You fooled him, you bloody idiot. You know you shouldn't do that. Never mind. It's growing on me, the scent. It's, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, It's definitely not sent to wear for if you're going on a date. It's uh I don't think any girl would like a man's thinking of uh, burning bitumen and tar and blah everything. As all the ladies wash out and buy this soap for their other offs for the next birthday and Christmas. <laughs> Obviously, saying, Why did you buy me that? My ladies will be saying, Jim will shave, so they've got more chance of pulling with that. Sorry, fellas. With the uh, audio of this razor, you can. You know how much bristles left because you can hear it loudly. Okay, the scent's not horrible. Went too heavy on the chin there. Got a little weaver. It's not horrible, but it's not. Uh... It's not overly pleasant. I think it's a scent most people will buy once and probably never buy again. That's probably how I got it from uh, Jay Fret. He didn't like it and he passed it on to me. I bought a bottle. Well, there was some, there has been a couple of uh, soaps you sent for free, I can't remember what they are, Jay. I think it was when I bought uh, a razor from you. Doing a job. Yeah, so uh, went a little bit rough on there on the chin, and I got a wee bit. So that's a good indication to me that it's uh, mid, mid aggression. Right, go for the cold rinse. Plenty of slickness. Residual stickers, that is. Did 
Lot of pressure on the weeper. Well, that was a good shave. BBS, nice and smooth. Good pull shave feel. But you saw the, say, the razor. Doesn't feel like a quality, expensive razor when you're using it, but it does the job. And you saw I was taking quite a, quite a lot of scrapes there. So quite a lot of scrapes to uh, achieve the results. A little weeper. Hope that stops soon. Nothing serious, but uh, yeah, got that rubbery portion of feel. Okay, afters. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> matching after shave splash. And it smells a little sweeter than the uh, soap. Yeah, a little nicer than the soap. grooming dog for slaver up with my 28 millimeter yaki tuxedo razor oh so bleeding on that uh i'm always getting a weep around that exact spot the razor i nearly forgot its name the b1 ariana 11's butterfly razor pressed to open and that was all finished off with matching after shave splash. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a cracking week next week. Thanks for all the recent likes, subscriptions, comments. I appreciate you all. Okay, guys. Catch you further down the line. Bye bye now.